What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at Tyler Lockett's Superstar MVP card, but before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers with the subscribe button and turn notifications. And I'll leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description below. I'm live almost every single night over on Twitch, so I definitely recommend you come through to some of the live streams. So this morning we hit 6,000 subscribers. I do want to thank each and every one of you guys for 6k. Um, this channel has been growing so fast. It's absolutely insane how fast we're growing. We gained almost 900 subscribers last week alone, which is absolutely insane. So I want to thank each and every one of you guys. But, um, yeah, that's enough talking. Just hop right into it. All right, so here is Tyler Lockett. He's at 88 speed, 79 jumping, 87 catching, 81 catching traffic, 85 spec catch, 80 short, 81 mid, and 83 deep route running. So this guy for this point of the year is a phenomenal deep threat with 88 speed and 83 deep route running. But the cool thing about this card is that he starts with abilities. So you don't have to waste your training um, powering this guy up to get his abilities. Um, he gets rack him up, return man, and energizer. So do I recommend that you use this guy for his abilities? probably not i don't think it's worth two ap for return man and energizer on a receiver um and also because return man it's not really going to be used as much as you think because half the people you face are just going to kick to your fullback anyway so it doesn't really matter um i just don't think running the um the abilities on this guy are worth it if you power him up obviously you are going to lose the abilities once you once you power this guy up so you can put whatever you want on him um i believe he does get slide matic uh 3 ap just like mark clayton does because they are the same archetype so actually i'm not sure if he gets it actually if you power him up someone let me know um what abilities um tyler lockett does get because i actually might power this guy up because having 89 speed this early in the year is definitely hard to find so tyler lockett is definitely a solid option and, and even his catching is very high too for a fast receiver 87 catching is super high so so yeah that's enough talking let's just hop right into the gameplay i'm looking forward to using this guy let's do it all right here we go that's oh no that's him Oh, he's got Lamar Jackson, Adulius Thomas, and Andre Johnson. And we got Lamar Jackson, Mark Clayton, and Asante Samuel. This is the first guy I faced who has Lamar Jackson. 90 overall, of course. Let's do it. Takes it off to Mark Clayton, and we eat a hit stick from Thomas. Damn. That probably should have been a fumble. That was actually pretty clean by him. All right, let's see if we're going to have Tyler Lockett on this crosser or what. Let's see. Should have Lockett open here. Toes in, Lockett. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good start to the game right there. 30 yards for Lockett. Let's get it. Guessing that he just adjusted his own drops. That's probably my guess why he took so long on that in between that play. As Derrick Henry gets slapped on the ground by Jeremy Chin. Let's go. Lockett on the on the slant, maybe. Nope, we don't have Lockett on the slant. Oh, we, we may have actually had Clay in. All right, nice play by Lockett right there. I tried playmaking him. I wanted a first down there, but I guess I'll take four yards. Get so much safety help. Oh, throw it away, throw it away. Oh, my. Oh, that was way too close for comfort. I'm going to take my... Actually, no, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Um, I'm going to run the ball with Lamar, I think. Might be the move right now. And guys, by the way, once you do power up Lamar Jackson, you can get fast break on him. Um, I do want to say that fast break is not as good as it was last year, but um, it still is better than not having it, in my opinion. If you want to run the ball with Lamar, um, having fast break is probably worth it. Come on. Lock it. Touchdown. Corner. And he goes out of bounds. And he doesn't get his feet down, man. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff how that's not a touchdown. We have Lockett open. Let's go possession that. Let's go. All right, we're going to try the slip screen here. I'm trying to get him off of Delpit over there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Damn. The blocks did not set up for us right there. Thankfully, we get back to the line of scrimmage. But the blocks were just simply not there for us right there. So this is very uncharacteristic of me. If this was not a receiver gameplay, there is no way I'm throwing this ball right now. Like, not even a sliver of a chance. All right, let's give the ball to Henry. Run this guy over. Touch on Henry. Let's go. That's why you got to get Derrick Henry, man. That dude makes plays. And guys, this morning on the EA live stream, they talked about the um, kick meter and how it's hard to see it and how it hitches as well so it's not all my fault it's not my fault that i'm missing all these kicks it, it, i know i'm not the only one that, that's all that's all i gotta say i definitely know i'm not the only one right, he's running he's running bunch let's see what he's doing here uh, is he gonna run this ball with ap maybe maybe you run the ball with ap i don't know motions out digs probably put him on a slant or something nope not, nothing he has nothing open right now as a playmaker give me that nope that was a very risky playmaker by him Oh, he motions out digs again. Oh, he has a slant wide open. Tyron Matthew gets absolutely cooked off the line right there. And his Tyler Lockett ends up making the play. This is really the this is really the ultimate Tyler Lockett gameplay. We have him on offense and we have him on and we have him on defense too. 
Oh, goes to the wheel route to AP, but he drops it. Nice play by Minka. Bro, I cannot wait for Minka's next upgrade. Um, I, I was hoping that Minka got a Superstar MVP card this this go-around, but I think it might be next go-around when, when we get the Minka and the uh, and the Z card and the Miles Garrett card. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. All right, has nothing. Probably going to go to the slant again. Has nothing. Give me that. Give me that. What? Okay, first of all, he should have caught that. But second of all, why is no one on my team playing that pass? Like, let me know why no one on my team decided... Hey, there's a football coming towards me. Let me try to catch it. Like what? Like what was that? I'm very confused. All right, so we had a decent first drive with Tyler Lockett. We didn't get a touchdown with him, but we I think we had like what 40 or 60 yards with him that drive. Um, so yeah, l let's just run that back. He's on Del Pit. We should have. We should have. Yeah, we had Lockett wide open. Let's go, Lockett. Go, 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 go. Oh no, I almost wiggled him. Bro, I almost, I almost wiggled Williams, man. I almost did it. Damn, I was close. Yeah, what does Lockett got? Oh, Lockett has four receptions for 71 right now. Absolutely balling. All right, I actually played, I actually played pretty good defense there. He put um, he put Smith right in the zone where the crosser would be. That'll be some nice defense by Nah, I got Clayton wide open there. Did he catch that? Okay, nice catch by Clayton. Let's go. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for it. Why not? I'm feeling kind of spontaneous right now. Reason why we shouldn't. One yard's all we need. Let's go, Lamar. Good work. I'm going to try something crazy here. I feel like he's kind of seeing what formation I'm in right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's pressed up on, on, on Tyler Lockett right now. Let's see if we can get a bomb up down the sideline. Okay, no. He kind of played beautiful defense right there. And Thomas gets the sack. All right, no, nothing. Literally nothing I thought was going to work right there ended up working. So that that's good, I guess. That's good to know. Street Judy, we have Lockett on the on the uh, slant route. Let's see what happens here. We got Lockett open. Let's go. Damn, he clicked off, bro. If he stayed on, I may have actually had a chance to wiggle him there, but... Shoot, never mind. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go, let's go. Oh, no, he, I got chased down. He... Okay, he called a timeout. Oh, no, because it's fourth and eight. Damn, from the 42, I can't I can't kick a field goal from here. Yo, we're starting up the second half, and it's his ball. It's only 7 nothing. We haven't had much offense, but... I mean, Tyler Lockett almost has 100 yards, I think, right now. Which is not terrible. I want to try to get him a touchdown, though. I don't, I don't want to force it to him, because it is a pretty close game. I don't want to throw a stupid interception. Um, which I do tend to do a lot in this game, especially when I'm doing wide receiver gameplay. So I'm going to try to avoid do from doing that. But if we if we can get Tyler Lockett a touchdown, that'd be pretty cool. Motions out digs. We've seen this before. Probably going to have a curl some. Oh, he has Stefan. Give me that. Let's go. Let's go, Minka. That's why you put curl flats on the field, man. That's why you do it. And you can't control your cornerback after an interception. I know I say this probably almost every single gameplay, but you simply cannot control your guy after an interception. It's crazy. Lock it on the drag route here. We're, we're going to actually put Judy on the slant this time. We're going to cross with Finley. That's the move right now. So I feel like he has been using that slant route a lot. Let's see if, let's see if he does it again here. And we get and we get sacked, damn. I mean, Adulius Thomas has three sacks. I mean, the dude, someone's got to deal with that, man. As we get a bad play clock, and we can't really set up the play we want, but let's see what we can do here. Hey, he's open, maybe. Give me that bail me out. Damn. I had to try something. I I didn't. I wasn't able to set, set up the play I really wanted to. And we're gonna punt the ball right back to him, man. We got. I, I don't know what to do. He definitely had something open at some point, right? Give me that. Let's go. Isaiah Simmons for the interception. Damn, I just hate that feeling of not being able to control your guy. I know I said that on two straight interceptions, but it is so frustrating when you get an interception. You just can't move your player. It's so stupid. All right, I want to get locked at the ball so bad right now. Oh, and I put him in blocking. You hate to see that. And he he didn't even he he didn't even block either. He was blocking but didn't even block. That's the best part. All right, motion lock it. Let's get it right this time. There we go. Should have him open. There we go. Lock it. Catch it. Oh my God. Lock it is dead. Lock it is in concussion protocol. Minka Fitzpatrick has almost ended his life. Damn. And, and when I dropped it. All right. We have nothing open again, man. This this is terrible. Nothing open again. Nothing open ever. I'm taking my three points. Oh, give me that. Hey, stick. Ball. Let's go. Oh, my God. He might leave on that. He might leave. He might just leave. He might leave. Leave. Bro, leave. Bro, bro, bro. You have to leave the game after that. I wouldn't even blame you for leaving. That 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 would have pissed me off. Who was that? Well, that was that was Adrian Wilson. We had Lockett open. It's just like he got, he got slapped in the mouth that one time we tried this. Whenever I motion Lockett, he just, he just runs with him. Towns with his fourth sack of the day. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to get, I don't know how I'm gonna get in the ball. I have to run it, man. I have to run the ball. I have to run it. He's he's rushing three and playing, and he has a spy on the field. He's really just playing the pass right now. We, we have to run the ball. 
See that that's what happens, man. When when like he's he, I've noticed that he's only playing the pass. That's all he was doing. All right, motions digs. Probably just gonna be a slant. Is my guess. Goes to the slant right. Oh no, he did a zig route actually. Throws the ball right at me. This guy's blind, I think. Did he not see my user? Did he, did he not see my user? Oh, he's got to be gone after that, right? Yeah, he's gone for that. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for the Tyler Lockett gameplay. I don't feel like it was my best gameplay on the channel, but hopefully I was still able to give you guys a pretty good idea of how this card feels, how he plays. I mean, it's obviously harder to run run an offense through a receiver who doesn't even have abilities. Uh, but having 80 yards is not that bad in three quarters against a pretty competent player. Um, he, he was pretty good on defense, wasn't the best on offense, but he was a pretty decent defender. So uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We're 4,000 subscribers away, so we're kind of closing in. And if the video helped you out or if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, I'll see you boys in the next one.